In section 8.3, we'll be focusing on methods of proving triangles similar. After looking at this video, you'll be able to use several methods to prove triangles similar. Let's talk about four ways below. The first way is by angle, 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 which means that if we get three angles of one triangle congruent to the corresponding angles in the other triangle, then that means the triangles are similar. We can write AAA for that as a shortcut. But let's save ourselves some time, because if we know that two angles in one triangle are congruent to two of the corresponding angles in another triangle, then by the no choice theorem, the remaining two angles must be congruent, those third angles. So we can also prove triangles similar by just using angle angle. So if we could just find two pairs of congruent angles within the triangles, that's enough to say they're similar, right, AA. This is the most common way that we'll prove triangles similar. So it's one we'll be using a lot in our two column proofs. The third way is by side, side, side similarity, which means that if the ratios of the measures of the corresponding sides of the triangles are equal, then the triangles are similar. Don't forget to include the similar symbol after SSS. And then finally, side angle side similarity is the fourth and final way to prove triangles similar, which means that if the ratios of the measures of two pairs of corresponding sides are equal and the included angles are congruent, then the triangles are similar. Now, as I mentioned before, angle angle is what we'll be using a lot in our two column proofs. Three and four, the side 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 angle side similarities, we will use in more application like problems as you'll see in your books. Let's take a look at the first example. We want to prove these two triangles, TVY and PXY, similar. Well, we know that we have a trapezoid, so right away I'd be thinking about the bases of those trape the trapezoid being parallel. So let's list that TV is parallel to XP. And then from that, we can get congruent angles. So we know that the alternate interior angles, and I'm highlighting in red hair here, angle TVY and angle PXY are congruent because they're alternate interior angles. That already gives us one pair of congruent angles within the triangles. You can also list the other pair of alternate interior angles, but I'm going to go a different route, and I'm just going to list the vertical angles that are congruent here, those yellow ones. So we can say that those yellow angles, T, Y, V, and X, Y, P are congruent. And that's our second pair of congruent angles. So that's enough to say that the two triangles are similar by angle angle. We mentioned our first pair of congruent angles in step three and our second pair of congruent angles in step four. And that's all we need. It's a little bit shorter than even proving triangles congruent. We're proving triangles similar. Let's take a look at the next example. This one's a little different. We're given that the ratio of AB to DE is equal to the ratio of BC to EF. So what it looks like here, it looks like we have the ratios of the measures of two pairs of corresponding sides equal. And also, they give us angle B is congruent to angle E. So that's the included angle. So those included angles are congruent as well which means that's enough to say that those two triangles are similar by side angle side similarity. Now we typically won't use this reason in a proof, but I just wanted to show you like visually what that looks like. And we'll be using this reason in a lot of application like problems in our books. Maybe you'll be given some numbers to work with and you'll have to set up some proportions. Let's take a look at this third example. And for this one, we want to prove triangle ABC congruent to, or I'm sorry, not congruent, similar to triangle DF. It's easy to mix it up, so make sure we're using similar and we're writing the similar symbol. As you can see, I just made that mistake there. So we want to prove those two triangles similar. Right away, you should be thinking, well, those blue angles, one and two, are not located within the triangles. So we do have to work with some supplementary angles. So we want to mention those. And then finally, we can get to those angles within the triangles, angle BCA is congruent to angle EFD, because if two angles are supplementary to congruent angles, then they are congruent. And they already gave us um, A and D congruent, those angles. So now we have our two pairs of congruent angles within the triangles, so that's enough to say that the triangles are similar by angle angle. We mentioned our first pair of congruent angles in step one, and our second pair of congruent angles in step five.